When my brother was shot on August 9th, I was dancing at a powwow, and my cousin comes up to me before I dance with tears in her eyes, and she said that Coco had died. My original intention uh, in terms of, you know, addressing and responding to the story um, was actually I, I was going to write a blog. Um, I write uh, semi-regularly for the Broadbed Institute and I hadn't written one for a while and I was so struck by you know the circumstances and I was thinking about the history and the context of what had happened to this young man and and then I was also, you know, really thinking about the children in my life and what the future is going to look like for them. And so I started writing and I had a few pages written down that I was using. And then, you know, it wasn't until a few days later that, um, that I decided to, to make a film on the urging of my dad's partner who is related to Colton's family. Because of the timing of the film, because we filmed longer than we thought, because the scope got bigger, um, we actually pulled it together really quickly in editing. And so we finished Picture Lock around the time we were informed that the film was opening Hot Dogs and we still had all the online, we still had all the music, the animation wasn't done. and so. You know, it's been pretty a relentless pace. So I don't think I've had time yet to really reflect. Um, I think that in the spaces where I have had that time, I've just felt grief. You know, I've, I've felt grief for Colton. I've felt grief for other young Indigenous people who have been lost due to colonial policies, due to inequities, due to injustice. That's where I'm at, you know, I, I just am feeling a lot of grief and that, that, e that a film like this even needs to be made in the first place. I think, you know, I, I felt honored that the festival chose the film. I think my academic side was like, you know, we should have had access all along, right? We should have been able to tell our stories and have equal access that, that hasn't happened. And it's, it's good to see that shift, you know, and so, I think what I did feel was hope that this creates space for more Indigenous filmmakers to have access to and be in festivals like Hot Docs, that these stories that are told by Indigenous filmmakers reach a national audience because, you know, those stories haven't been heard yet. We got really overwhelming support from Saskatoon. We had, you know, I think 475 people. In, in attendance at the, at the theater and a standing ovation, which has been happening every time I've been in attendance uh, with the film. They had good numbers on the weekend and then this week, and so they're holding it over for another week, and we're really happy to hear that. It's sometimes tough to get audiences for documentaries. So, so yeah, we're, we're pleased with that.